So many of the pissed off Hindu, I just want to talk about something I thought was really interesting. I remember growing up when I was really young, right? I was in Texas. A lot of a lot of Christians over there, which which you know, I grew up Christian also. My grandmother's Christian. She was like so Christian. She was like she was so Christian, man. She was like a fundamental Christian. You know, she's like scrap a bomb for Jesus and shit. That's how fucking Christian she was. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I know about Christianity. I know the Bible. I know the whole stories and this and that. And I knew since I was a child. You know, my grandmother taught, taught it to me as soon as I could read and shit. You know, and uh, I remember going to school in Texas. And you know, I think it was somewhere around like seventh, eighth grade somewhere. I went to some Spring Baptist church or something like that with one of my uh, the families that I was with. And when the adults left, it was just me and the rest of the kids. So they started picking on me. And that time, you know, I think the one of the first Middle Eastern you know skirmishes started back then. And uh, it was all over school, and then people were looking at me, and they're like, you know, hey, man, where are you from, man? I'm like, from Brooklyn. No, man, where's your family from? The only thing I knew at that age was Brooklyn. I was like, Brooklyn? And one of the other guys was like, hey, man, I know what he is. I'll tell you what, he's some kind of a nigger. I know that. So, I mean, they, they were close. I was some kind of a nigger. In their mind, it was a classification system of some sort. Uh... Then they kept going on and on about like, uh, you know, how that I should go back to the country where I come from. So me thinking, you know, I was a kid, I came from Brooklyn, so I was thinking, all right, well, Brooklyn's the country I came from, I better get back to Brooklyn somehow, because these guys are going to beat me up. So, you know, coming from Brooklyn, I don't take that too lightly. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another, they started yelling at me, and, and the parents all stood there on the sidelines watching, nobody said a word, they just watched as about nine or ten of these kids, white kids, ganged up on me, you know, up on me, right, and they're all like yelling at me, all kinds of the racial slurs, I found out I was a sand nigger, I didn't even know about that, That's because, you know, if you come from that part of the world, you know, there's a lot of sand there, and you're a nigger, so you're a sand nigger, this is how brilliant, you know, they came up with some really brilliant uh, stuff there, you know, um, funny thing is, you know, I'm a very smart dude, and, and I've always been, and uh, one of the things that I, I, it just popped into my head, I was like, wait a second, because they all started talking about, you know, Jesus don't love sand niggers, Jesus don't love sand niggers at all. You gotta go back to where you come from, man. Starting wars and terrorism and shit like that. And I'm like sitting there thinking to myself, well, and I said it out loud. That's <laughs> what I've always been trolled for, for saying shit out loud. <laughs> so I said, wait a second, wait a second. And everybody kind of like, what? I'm like, you said that Jesus doesn't like sand niggers. But like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Well, technically, he's a sand nigger. Man, you better watch me. We should kick your ass. Well, no, hold on a second. You said anybody from the Middle East is a sand nigger, right? They all stopped and started thinking. Nobody started. Nobody said anything. And I said, well, he was born like somewhere in Bethlehem. And I, I mean, that's like somewhere between like Israel and Palestine somewhere. I mean, somewhere in that place. It's in the Middle East, man. He was born in the Middle East. And it, it occurred to me, I was right. These motherfuckers just stood there like... And the parents finally interrupted to try and tell me that well it's not necessarily true you know these are Texans you know these are adults we're all like teenagers or whatever the case is you know <laughs> I kind of made everybody the whole fucking church had to stop and think that night because of those words thank god I have a brain on me man you know <laughs> Jesus was a sander Jesus was a sander